That was my first time going fishing. I mean, I'm a great fisherman when I can go say, give me two of those, three of those, and I'll take one of those too. You know what you're getting when you go fishing like that. My name is Sweet Lou Dunbar. I'm one of the head coaches of the Harlem Globetrotters. I'm going into my 46th year with the world famous Harlem Globetrotters. And out of those 46 years, I played basketball with those guys for 24 of those years. The way I became a Harlem Globetrotter, I was in Los Angeles in the summer pro league with the Houston Rockets. Some people saw me and they invited me to the Harlem Globetrotters training camp. The rest is history. Some of my all-time great memories are um, being able to say that I played with my childhood heroes. You know, uh, I had the opportunity in my first year to play with Mel Lock Lemon, Geese Osby, and the greatest dribbler in the world, Marcus Haynes. Those were some of my truly, truly fond memories. My favorite trick shot was, I didn't know it at the time, the hook shot from me court. I think that was the greatest thing. And for me, and for any showman, when you hit that hook shot from mid court, there's nothing else left. Let's go home. When I first came to the Harlem Globe Trials in, in 1977, I was a young skinny kid, you know. Mel Lott, Curly Geese, and Marcus, they were the old men. And it's funny how I got to know them and interact with them, we became family. As you look into the camera now, you can see I'm the old man. <laughs> I became like a, a son to them, I think. And I think I'm kind of reversing the role now my players, I think, feel like my kids. So that's the way life goes. I don't even recognize this guy. He's nice and slim and trim, had a beautiful afro, skinny legs and all. Or you can see the balls were just like the NBA balls. We didn't have the red, white, and blue balls back there. And also, I was playing above the rim back then. And you know, later on, after about 20 years, you go below the rim and start laying them up. Pretty great shot. And then there's some uh, pictures of my old teammates, Gator Rivers, Twiggy Sanders, myself, and my best friend, Jimmy Blacklock, who was coach with the Globe Trials. Well, he was one of the premier drivers. Marcus Haynes taught him. And so Jimmy was out here teaching some of the Globe Trials players as well. Those were the good old days. This was back in the day. I had some great players with me back then. I had Osborne Lockhart, a guy from the Bahamas. He was, he was the first foreign-born player. Uh, Gator Rivers, one of our great drivers, Ovi Dotson, who went to the University of Texas. Great guy, man. And uh, it was one of the plays that we were doing here. You see the guy running in, throwing off the back door, and the last guy coming and dunking. Called that the Dipsy Dip. We had names for all kinds of things. Oh, you see me walking backwards with this guy. I used to turn around, I used to, the guy just faced me, I was walking backwards. And, there, and you see, you watch the little video and say, you're walking with the bar. I couldn't fly with it. So, you know, you had to do something. It's great to, great to see this, man, because uh, these were the guys I really became a showman with. They were my crew. These were my crew. And uh, they made me. To be a showman, you got to have a good thought. It's like anything. You got to have people, good people working for you. And I had a great crew been working with me. They could shoot, they could dunk, they could get them down the floor, they could play the game. And that's what it's all about, man. And we all did it together. That's what the Globe tried to do. We bring you together and we put smiles on faces doing that. And here I have, I'm sitting here with the Spelling Beat champ, Zayla. She was just a great kid. Uh, first of all, I'm from Louisiana and she's from Louisiana. We just bonded right there. This girl's amazing. She's phenomenal. She's not always smart, but she can that rock. So TNT and Torch better watch out. You know, uh, we, we did a little fishing expedition. And for me, that was my first time going fishing. I mean, I'm a great fisherman when I can go say, give me two of those, three of those, and I'll take one of those too. You know what you're getting when you go fishing like that. But this is my first time actually casting a real line and putting it in the water. I caught my first fish at 12.15 that afternoon. I clocked it. You know, so I'll never forget that. And Wham was with me. He's terrible. Wham couldn't fish. He caught his first fish that day too. I do believe. This past season, for the Globe tries playing it forward. It's, it's actually been pretty amazing. I'm out there with these players, and these players are meeting different people that are doing different things for their communities and just spreading the wealth, you know, and, and uh, the knowledge 
of what everybody's doing. Got some communities where the guys were paying the basketball courts for the communities that didn't have anything. Because when I grew up, we didn't have a basketball court. We played outside on the dirt, you know. I think these kids are fortunate to have these people going around helping them in the community. And also to get the Globetrotters to come and give back to, hey, that's a double, double plus. Is that a word? It's good that these guys, young ladies, are getting their faces out there. So when they come to their hometown, say, man, that's Torch, that's TNT. Oh, look at Bulldog and Hammer. Glove Shots are known as the ambassadors of goodwill. I mean, we've been around the world a few times and we've been to 124 different countries. You know, we don't just play basketball. You know, we, we share the love and the wealth of the game. I think the game brings us all close together. Being a home globe child, you have a responsibility. It's not just about going out there and putting the ball in the hoop. It's about creating memories. Yeah, we're about to embark on our 2023 tour. For all those fans, especially for the ones who've never seen the Harlem Globetrotters, please come out. It's fun and entertainment for the whole family. Not just that. And we made you forget your everyday frustrations. When you come there, you may owe a water bill that's $300. But when you come to see the Globetrotters, we're going to make you forget about that. But remember one thing, when you leave, you got to pay that bill. <laughs>